Well, Guy, <laughs> we're back here at the Northwest 200. Yeah. I mean, what does it mean to you? So it means a lot, boy. It means a lot, you know. Got a bit of decent weather, haven't we? You know, I just want to go out. You know, I've had like records. I've had every place on the podium other than the top step, and I just want to go out there and do some winning, boy. You know, I've had enough of being so near yet so far. You know, I just want to go out and do some winning. But I mean, the atmosphere here. There's yeah, no one in the world yeah. Like no, I mean, why is it, is it the biggest spectator sport in the whole of Northern Ireland? There's 150 odd thousand people that come over and see. It's summer's summer, then you've only got to go around, you know, on Thursday nights practice or on Saturday morning. The amount of people going into the circuit, it's unreal. You know, you, you can't call yourself a motorbike racer unless you've done the Northwest 200, really, can you? Not really. I mean, you know what you've won? 11, 11 Northwest. Yeah, 11. Yeah, well. <laughs> uh, but I mean, I feel. Um, the feelings have won five in a day. Five, and that know. is some going. Five and, uh, in a day. That, that means so much, and it's only at the, at the time you don't appreciate it. You know, you, you just just get on the next bike, get out, and, and go. Again. You go, and yeah, that's, yeah. That's your job, and you've got to win. But uh, mm -hmm. looking back on it, you know. The, the, to win one Northwest is unbelievable. Yeah, but to win five in a day. But I've got to, I, I'm hoping they're going to be like London buses. You know, I'm going to win the one and the rest of them will come. That's the plan anyway. So. I mean, you were so close. I mean, I watched you. I didn't oh. try on when you had that, like, you know, that Honda in the lead. That was, Twice, yeah. You were right out there. Like, I know. I know. Yeah, well, you got it. When that went yeah, yeah, but then, just think if... I could really take that to heart. I think I was leading, yeah, I had a good lead in 2008 in, in both the superbike races, and then we had a bit of a brake problem, and then one of the water roses came off, and then I'd lost like an eight second lead or something like that. And I just think if I, I could really take that to heart, and I could go home and, you know, and, and start drowning myself in my, in, in, my, in my sorrows. But I just think that's not the way to go about it. I think, you know, good things come to those who wait. That's, I, I just keep, I've convinced yeah. myself that's the motto to go with, you know. With, I used to say that, but the trouble is with a racer, you know, the more you wait, the less I know. The chances really get. Uh, you're right, you're right. You're right, but see, I've got, you know, I've got a good set this year. You know, all the boys it's to do with the team. They're all we're all singing off the same sheet. You know, Wilson Craig, you know, he's cracking up, but he's, he's, he's racing for the same reasons I am. You know, we're just doing it because we enjoy it and we all want a bit of success out of it. Well, you know, I mean, you know, last night, I mean, how did your bikes feel? I mean, are your bikes fit to win? Here? Oh, well, definitely, without a doubt. 600 is fast enough. Superbike is definitely fast enough. It's just you've got to fine tune the handling, especially in the northwest. You know, going down the run from station down into university there, just to get the the thing stable and to get it going in a straight line. But the, the speed's there, but it's just fine tuning the handling. You know, just getting the handle bars right, getting the seat padding right. I'm very particular how I want stuff. So when I get all that right, the job, maybe, the job maybe, will be grand. Maybe you're being too particular. Maybe you know you're not putting enough work into you and the riding instead of into the bike. Yeah, the bike's got to be right, but yeah. you've got to be mentally you right. You see, too. that's where I learn off someone like you. You know. Do you, what do you reckon? Just sling it out there and go for it. Well, you know, we talked before you and I years ago. We done laps. We done laps. Yeah, anyway, yeah. You just gotta focus so hard. You know, you gotta concentrate on them brakes. You gotta concentrate on riding it out of that corner. Yeah. You know, your bikes are good. You know, you know what you're doing. You know, you're working bikes every day of the week. But you know, I think you need to work on you, not the bike. In what way do I need to work on me? Do you reckon? Well, you know, I think you need to come on. Some to, words of wisdom, I you know, think. You need to focus harder on. You know, you're worried too much about cable ties. You're worried yeah. too much about clips you know I am. you know they're on forget about them you know yeah but that's just I'm a mechanic you know I'm a lorry mechanic and I'm very particular that's the thing I need to get all that out of my head I just need to get on the bike and stretch the cable yeah but are you here mechanic already I, I'm here to ride the bike and all that's right it's just I do struggle on that crossover I just you know I just need to get on there and forget about how a bike screwed together but I'm not I'm that particular about stuff that. I can feel that you know you're not you know you're more worried about the flipping Fine. I am. Then you are the corner. And about how my cable ties are laid out, how my hose clips are laid out, how my wiring, you know. But you're not going to win races thinking like that. Oh. I know, you're right. You're right. I need you know, to learn. Well, are Job's you fit there. enough to ride them bags? Don't worry about me, but I'm fit enough. You know, have no you done doubt. enough laps this year? Yeah, well, saying that, saying that, I've done a race at Thruxton on the Super Stock and the Super Sport and Alton Park. We did a, f a, a bit of practice and then we went off, but I had to go back to work. So I haven't done so many laps, but I am. I do a bit of mountain bike racing and I'm doing the toughest mountain bike racing in Europe, the Salzgemerke Cup in Austria. I'm getting ready for that, so I'm, I'm fit in that way, fit in that way, but bike fit, maybe not so much bike fit. But you know. But I think it's mentally fit. Mentally fit. Is that what I need? You need to be mentally fit. Go on, I need some words of wisdom then. Well, just, you've got to just focus so hard. And, and and concentrate on that riding and mm -hmm. like I mean, have you got good guys working? Yeah, I've yeah. good lads. Well, just good why lads. not trust them then? Yeah, those even made this morning at seven o'clock. You know, the keen, the boys are keen. I keep making them the brews and they keep keep grafting. So I think you know, well, make them boys work on the bike and you work on the riding. Is that right? Yeah, so go on. I, we're going to get done here. I'm going to go back. I was going to go back and clean the wheels and clean the chain. So what, what do I go and do? Just, just get a rest. What do I do? You go know, away. Just go away, think about the course, think about how you're going to pass them, you know, think of how you're going to get off that line, I mean, are you going to get that clutch out fast enough without mm -hmm. wheeling, you know, 
and uh, it's just just got to focus in the first corner. You know, get those brakes well warmed on the warm up lap. So when yes. you go into York, it doesn't matter how late you pull it, it's going to stop. You know, what do you want here this week? I want to win. Of course I do. Well, like I said every place on the podium besides the top one, lap records. I think I still hold the superstar lap record. But, but lap records are not winning. No, they're not. They're not. You're right. Yeah. You're right. You know, I think the biggest problem I have, you have, you like the wrong cheese. <laughs> <laughs> cheese? I'm not a big cheese fan, boy. I'm not a big cheese fan. What would I go for cheese? What would you? What sort of cheese, man, would you oh, be? I just love, I love brie. I love everything. Is that right? Oh, you're a yeah. boy. You're a bit of a connoisseur, are you? Yeah, so maybe you just... I don't know. I have my beans on toast with a bit of cheese on the top, but I'm not particular. I don't think a bit of Edam would do the job, would it? Yeah, I reckon. You right. fancy? You fancy going for a ride? <laughs> That's kind of like... Go on, let's have a song out of it, boy. Can you tickle a roll?